What if you had animal scales or other animal coats? Author Sandra Markle, illustrator Howard McWilliam. What if you had animal scales or other animal coats? Author Sandra Markle, illustrator Howard McWilliam. What if one day when you woke up, you felt a little bit strange and you discovered that overnight, the skin covering your body was now very different. What if a wild animal's scales or some other animal coat had taken its place? What if you had a thorny devil coat? The thorny devil scaly coat has thin channels of bare skin running between spiky scales. These channels collect rainwater and soak up water from wet sand or humid air. By opening and closing its mouth, the thorny devil pulls a drink from its channels channel network. Gulp, gulp. A thorny devil's coat is too spiky for most predators to bite. If you had a thorny devil's coat, you'd enjoy being caught in the rain. What if you had a chinchilla coat? The chinchilla holds the record for thickest fur of any land animal. Each hair growing spot on its skin sprouts 50 hairs where most animals grow just one. Such a thick coat keeps it toasty warm in its chilly South American mountain home. Plus, all that hair blocks bugs from biting its skin. A chinchilla baby, called a kit, is born with its eyes open and a full coat of fur. If you had chinchilla fur, you'd never need bug spray. What if you had a hammerhead shark coat? A hammerhead shark cruises at 15 miles per hour and can reach even faster speeds for short bursts. The secret is its coat of denticles. These are hard overlapping tooth-like scales so tiny that about 10,000 of them cover a patch of the shark's skin no bigger than a U.S. penny. Together, denticles create a coat of armor that water easily slips past, letting the shark zip through the ocean. No wonder a hammerhead shark can dine on fast food such as sardines. A hammerhead's denticles grow out of its skin the way hairs and feathers do, but each one is like a tiny tooth with a soft inner pulp and hard enamel cover. If you had a hammerhead shark's coat of denticles, you'd shock everyone by how fast you can swim. What if you had a European hedgehog's coat? A European hedgehog's coat is prickly with spines sticking out of its back and sides. Each spine is a tube made of keratin, the same strong stuff your fingernails are made of, and has a honeycomb filling. That makes the hedgehog's spiny coat a natural shock absorber. Its spines are flexible enough to bend without breaking and stiff enough to straighten again. No wonder if a European hedgehog falls, it balls up and twists to land on its shock absorbing back. Sometimes it even bounces. As a European hedgehog grows up, its baby spines fall out one by one and are replaced by longer adult spines. If you had a European hedgehog's coat, you'd bounce and safely perform amazing jump rope stunts. What if you had an emperor penguin's coat? An emperor penguin's feathers help it survive in Antarctica, the coldest place on earth. Stiff outer feathers overlap for a tough waterproof cover. Beneath this, lots of fluffy feathers form super thick insulating underwear. Together, these layers are the perfect coat for staying warm, sliding on ice, and swimming in ice cold water. An emperor penguin sheds and replaces its feather coat yearly. While that's happening, it stays on land for about a month without eating. If you had an emperor penguin's coat, you'd be a champion water slide racer. What if you had a naked mole rat's coat? A naked mole rat isn't completely naked. It has fine hairs, mainly in rows down the sides of its body. These are important sensors that help it find its way through the dark underground tunnels of its colony's home. Thanks to these hairs, it navigates without running into tunnel walls or accidentally bumping into other naked mole rats. A naked mole rat has hairs filling the spaces between its toes. These hairs help it push dirt while digging new tunnels.
If you had a naked mole rat's coat, you'd lead expeditions into deep, unexplored places. What if you had African bush viper scales? An African bush viper's scaly coat acts as body armor when crawling on trees and bushes. Muscles move its belly scales to power it forward. The scale edges press against rough spots, anchoring its grip. When the snake stays still, its rigid scales help it mimic leaves or fruit to hide from big, hungry birds. If a small bird or lizard comes close, it strikes. Dinner time! An African bush viper sheds the outer layer of its skin a few times a year, as all snakes do. It's how it grows bigger and freshens its scaly armor. If you had an African bush viper scaly coat, you wouldn't need steps to reach your tree house. What if you had a honeybee's covering? A honeybee's body is covered with nearly 3 million hairs. Pollen sticks to these hairs when the bee lands on a flower to sip nectar. By brushing and licking, the bee cleans its body, pushing the pollen onto its hind legs. There, a fringe of extra long hairs act like pollen saddlebags. When they are packed full, the bee flies this food home to its hive and colony. Even a honeybee's eyes are hairy. Scientists believe these hairs detect wind direction. That may help the bees stay on course while flying from flower to its hive on windy days. If you had a honeybee's coat, you'd always have the biggest haul on Halloween. What if you had... A scarlet macaw's coat. A scarlet macaw's feather coat can't be missed, but showing off in its forest home is a good thing. Predators, such as eagles and jaguars, know not to mess with the bright, big bird with the strong, ready-to-bite beak. Colorful, shiny feathers also show good health, which scientists believe scarlet macaws look for when choosing their lifelong mates. Scarlet macaw pairs share preening running their beaks through each other's feathers to clean and smooth them. If you had a scarlet macaw's coat, you'd start a wild colored hair fad. What if you had a leopard's coat? A leopard's coat makes it a super sneaky cat. Its coloring lets it blend into patches of sunlight and shadow in Africa's grasslands. The spotted pattern makes the leopard's body shape hard to see. So although it runs slower than a cheetah, a leopard's coat lets it sneak close enough to catch fast food, such as antelope. Like your fingerprints are unique to you, each leopard is born with its own one-of-a-kind coat pattern. If you had a leopard's coat, you could easily hide to avoid cleaning your room. <laughs> what if you had... A Goliath bird eater tarantula covering. A Goliath bird eater tarantula's dinner plate sized body has a shell like covering with a very hairy coat. It doesn't hear, smell, or see well, so its hairs are how the tarantula senses what's around it. Special hairs near its feet give it a sense of taste so it knows if what it touches is dinner. If threatened, a Goliath bird eater tarantula rubs its back legs across its abdomen, flicking off a stinging cloud of barb tipped hairs. If you had a Goliath bird eater tarantula's coat, you'd be a world famous restaurant critic. Having a wild animal's coat could be cool for a while, but you don't need a new body covering to bounce, get a drink, or go exploring. Plus, you can stand out in a crowd just the way you are. So if you could keep an animal's scales or another wild coat for more than a day, which kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The covering on your body will always be human skin. It's what you need to keep your body fluids inside and keep out germs, the tiny living things that can make you sick. It's also what keeps you from getting too warm or too cold. Plus, your skin helps you feel pain. Pain is important because it lets you know to take action to stay safe. Best of all, your skin is what you need to look like you. Thanks so much for reading. Hope you enjoyed.